Games going on down on the starting line, a prayer down, is somebody doing this, is somebody doing that. If I'm the guy that is behind in performance, why not? What do you got to lose? But if I'm the guy that has the better car, the better bike, why would you get sucked into something like that? Why wouldn't you just go up, stay up, and come on, let's get it on? Do not get knocked out of your comfort zone. See him lining up, Matt making sure he's pointed straight down the rail track. Steve's already got the top bulb on. I'm ready whenever you are. As soon as Matt rolls in, I have a feeling Steve's just going to go right on in the stage. He is not going to get caught up in the starting line game down there. Oh, Matt went in a double ball. Stock motorcycle winner in the Camping World Series, Mr. Matt Smith. The 33rd win of his career coming at Virginia Motorsports Park in the NHRA Virginia Nationals in 2022. His first win on the new Suzuki and also the first win of the season as he uh, is evolving a new program. Matt gets to the final round by going through Chris Bostic in the first round, Jimmy Underdahl in a very close race, whole shot victory in the second round. And the semi-final battle with Eddie Craywick and Old Nemesis. But the final round was battle of the most heated rivalry in any category of NHRA drag racing, Matt versus Steve Johnson. And it was a whole shot victory over Steve in the final round to take that 33rd career victory. Matt, we're just gonna kind of let you talk a little bit about it because there's a lot going on. The Suzuki, the battle with Steve, Angie as number one qualifier. How satisfying is this win? It's uh, it's big, Joe. I mean, you know, Angie got number one qualifier. Uh, you know, our team did its homework after uh, Charlotte. We stayed over and tested the Suzuki uh, bike, and I made eight laps on Monday, and we got it closer. We're still not where we need to be yet, but we are way closer. And uh, you know, um, I got the little Wally at Charlotte. Yeah. She got the yellow hat here for uh, the number one qualifier, and we got the blue hat for winning the race. So, all in all, a great weekend for ourselves and uh and, and my dad you know he uh his two cars were in the final so it was a win for the smiths well, let's open it up to questions from members of the media starting off with josh hatchet from nhra matt uh, Angie just sat up here and talked about you know uh, i think they asked you know would matt consider going back to to the view or whatever and she said no he wants to win on the suzuki obviously it's a it's been a big deal for you to 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 win on this Suzuki, the first time you've won on here. How, how big is that in that regard when you frame it that way, your, your first ever win on a Suzuki, which was one of those things you've been trying to solve for sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's been a goal of mine. I went to, I don't know, four or five finals on the Suzuki early in my career and uh, I never could close a deal. And then the V-Twins came along and, you know, I've won on a Buell, I've won on an EBR, and I've won on a Victory. And uh, now I've won on a Suzuki and there was only one more brand that I could win on. I've won on four different brands, and the only other one I could win on is a, is a Harley, and I never got invited to, to race one of those. So uh, um, I, I'm, I'm truly blessed by being able to do what we've done. And, uh, you know, we brought this Suzuki program pretty quick to the forefront already. Um, we're just we're needing parts and pieces. Uh, I only got one motor. Jimmy's only got one motor right now. We've got plenty of parts on order. It's just getting the parts. I mean, everybody's in the same situation, but starting your own motor program is uh, from scratch is a big deal, and that's where we're at right now. Is we've got to get that going, we've got it up and running, and it's we got a lot of power, but we got to get parts so we can test and, and be able to make our bike run to the 330 like Angel and Steve are doing, and that's where we're getting beat right now. You talk specifically about that final round, everything was at stake there. Obviously, the rivalry you guys got going. He's got a quicker bike. I couldn't see it here, but the ounce you double bulbed him. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> Steve's been out here a long time, and everybody knows what he likes to do. He likes to stage first, and, you know, he likes to start last. And, you know, I made the point that he had the better bike. I had nothing to lose. You know, if they kick us both out because we don't want to start our bikes, I already got second, so I wasn't going to worry about it. Um, but I made him start his bike first, and... And then I went with the intention. I was right there at the beam when I got straight and I knew he loves the stage first. So I made a point to just, when I made a commitment, I, I knew I had to roll in, you know, about 10 inches and that's what I did. I double bulked him and, and I think it threw his game off. 
uh, Lee Craft, Monday Morning Race for Matt, congratulations. Uh, speaking on the rivalry a bit further with yourself and Steve Johnson, is there a sense beyond you two that it does help elevate the class above Funny Car, above Top Fuel, above Pro Stock, and keep a class that traditionally hasn't had the limelight in the limelight? Absolutely. I mean, you know, you always need rivalries out here. I mean, it makes the sport better. Um, you know, we just got to go to the point, you know, we're all professionals here and we all have sponsors and you just can't cross the line of calling people names, you know, and, and that's the biggest thing is, you know, we can have rivalries and, and you know, but we do, we need to be a professional about everything. And um, that's the biggest thing is I have a big sponsor with Denzo and, and Lucas Oil and Mark Stocks and Greg Butcher Trucking. And I represent all them up here and so does my wife. And we cannot go out there and call people names and, and, and be ugly about stuff like that. We get paid money to win races. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to win races and to do it on a different program and, and, and start a new program. Uh, I, I think that everybody's excited. I'm excited. I've never, I don't, let me say not never. I haven't been this excited to win a race in a very, very long time. And it wasn't because it was Steve Johnson in the lane. It's because of the bike that I'm on right now. Everybody said I couldn't go back to the Suzuki. I would not win on the Suzuki because I've been so successful in the B-Twin. And we're just out here to prove everybody wrong. Matt, a couple more questions about it, just because this has taken over Pro Stock Motorcycle. This has been going on for several years. Can you just like explain how this has flared up? You guys were on stage with us four years ago, talking about when the, you know, the hobby racer comments were made. And you know, Steve's fast now. I asked him if he motivated him. He said, no, it's kind of gone back and forth. Can we just kind of get your perspective of the whole situation? Well, I mean, Let's just put it this way, in a nice perspective way, is you know that what you asked him there that I motivated him, he said no, you know that was a bold faced lie. I mean, because the guy's been doing it a long time and never done his own engine program, ever. And so me calling him a hobby racer, and at the time he was a hobby racer. He had a normal job and he did this for fun. And that's the only thing I said is, you know, when people have a normal job and, and they make their living, at a, at a nine to five job or, or whatever they do to make their money, that's why I meant he was a hobby racer because he come out here for fun. Yes, he wanted to win, everybody wants to win, but I do this for a living. I get paid by my sponsors to win races and to do this. And I don't have another job. So if I don't perform and I lose my sponsors, then I have to go drive a truck and then I become a hobby racer. So I am out here to be a professional and that's 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 the way I explained it and that's the way I meant for everybody. It wasn't a slam on him, it wasn't a slam on the class, but he took it to another level again and he got a lot of attention for it. And you know, good for him. I mean I, it's 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 got a good rival rate right now and you know we all know George Bryce is helping him behind the scenes and George has always been known to run big time to the eighth mile. And that's why Steve is running as good as he is. And like I said before, he's got that magic tire. And I know they put that back on today. Uh, they didn't have it on for a qualifying. But, you know, when, when that tire goes away, he's going to struggle. And, uh, you know, it's just one of the deals. I mean, I've had magic tires before. And when it goes away, you lose, you lose something. You know, and it's just one of the deals. I'm just, I'm glad to have a rivalry with them. But there's other people to have rivalries too. That, that black trailer, they're fast too, you know. On Jill's fast, Eddie's coming on to being fast, and uh, you know Jimmy, Jimmy's going to be fast. I mean, he's already showing he's fast, and then it's not long before Jimmy's going to win a race. I can I can guarantee you that. So uh, uh, I'm just excited to be part of the Scrappers program, and, and they're developing their motors and, and, and getting them up to par. One question that this might not mean a lot to a lot of people here, but you and I probably will. This year's 33rd win ties you with the late great John Myers, three-time world champion, and for fifth overall in class history. What does that mean to you? It's huge, you know. I I want people to look back at at me to where I know I was part of this class, you know. Uh, when I first started this, when me and Mark Stockes started this program in 2007, we never thought we'd win a championship, you know. We just wanted to go out and win a race or two. Uh, and now to have 33 of them and five championships, I mean, um, you know, I'm, I'm blessed. I really am. I've, I come from a hardworking family. 
we don't have a lot of money and it takes sponsorship to to make this work and we we make our stuff look good on tv we make our, our pit area look good with a with our truck and trailer but in the grand scheme of things we are still one of the lower budget teams out here there's there's three or four teams out here with way more budget than what we have and um you know i'm just glad that that me and angie and now i got a, a crew guy because the scrappers in the shop all the time that you know we work 24 7 in that shop and you know it's, it's it, it shows because we run we run good Matt, thank you very much. Congratulations on this win. Such an important win for you in your career. And uh, more racing to come. So we will see you again. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it.